Hello there. I want to give you a quick three minute overview on how to protect your silo against overpressurization. We're going to split this into three sections. How an overpressurization occurs, what you need to fit and what you need to do to stay safe. These three basic rules are essential as silo overpressurization is a very serious risk on site. If air used to convey product from a tanker becomes trapped inside the silo, this results in overpressurization. This can easily blow a filter unit off the top of the silo, creating a potentially lethal danger. This is not scaremongering. This is really happening at cement sites around the world. So to avoid it, we must follow these three simple steps. Silo pressure safety is about achieving a balanced system, wherein the air going into the silo equals the air venting from the silo. If this is the case, there should be no issues. However, if the airflow out is restricted, for example by a filter blockage, or if there is too much air coming into the vessel to be safely vented, which is likely a result of uncontrolled tanker discharge, then the silo is at risk of overpressurization. This happens far too often. The first step in eliminating this risk is to install a silo protection system that monitors and controls the process. The core of this system should be a sensor monitoring the pressure inside the silo rather than at the fill point. The system must be able to automatically take control and close the inlet valve if the pressure becomes dangerous. This needs to be done automatically as the valve must close instantly. Pressure can build to dangerous levels in less than a second, faster than a driver or operator can react, so the shutoff must be automatic in order to protect the silo. That seems pretty simple, but we have to assume something may go wrong with the system, especially in the cement industry where equipment may fail due to the harsh environment. So the second basic rule is to have a pressure relief valve as a backup for if the pressure control system fails. This is the last line of defence and should only ever open in case of emergencies. There's a common misconception that a PRV opening regularly is normal. This is not the case and should be investigated. The final rule is to make sure all monitoring and control equipment is competently maintained and regularly tested. So the three rules again are Number one, monitor and control the pressure in the silo. Number two, have a PRV for emergencies only. And three, make sure equipment is properly maintained. Thank you for listening today. If you've got any questions, please give me a call on 01527 406 800. Alternatively, visit our website on www.siloprotection.com. Remember, safe silos are tested every time. Stay safe.